Is this finally the best budget wireless keyboard that's also color pink? But today we're going to unbox and have a quick review of the newest keyboard from Rack Gears. Look at the people, so you have reached Planet Mars wherein I unbox toys, gadgets, and review them as well. And also if you're a purple lover, please subscribe because I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so back to the topic. Rack Gears has sent me their newest keyboard, which is the Rack Pirac. And since this is a Pinoy gaming brand, magtatagalog na lang po tayo para hindi tayo mahirapan, di ba? <laughs> I will just put subtitles to our international viewers. So, ah. so this is a 65% keyboard, so it has 68 keys and a volume knob. Lately, yun yung hinahanap ko sa keyboard, yung merong volume knob. So I'm so happy na meron silang volume knob. So this is a wireless gaming keyboard. It only has two modes though. Wireless, which is the Bluetooth mode. And the wired, of course. Wala siya wireless dongle. I'm so happy na merong color pink na version itong Rock Pira. And saktong-sakto pa ngayong Women's Month. Kasi di ba associated lagi ang pink sa girls or sa women. And me, myself, pangalawang favorite ko po ang pink. Although, syempre, hindi ko generalize ang women. We all have different preferences. Pero based sa science din kasi, women are biologically programmed to like the color pink more than men during the Asian times pa. Usually yung mga lalaki, yung mga hunters and yung mga babae, yung mga food gatherers. So since sila yung lagi naghahanap ng fruits, ganyan, di ba kapag hinog na yung fruit, nagiging parang pinkish or purplish tones yung mga fruits. So it is believed that women develop better color vision than hunter men. Anyway, I wanna talk more about this kaso keyboard nga pala yung nire-review natin. Also, pinadalhan din pala nila ako ng rack Talan Air Mouse and I will be reviewing this in another video. So for now, let's do an unboxing of this keyboard. So here you go, this is the box of the Rock Pira. By the way guys, this is my first time trying fake nails kasi why not, diba? Pero yun, parang medyo mahirap pala mag-unboxing ng may fake nails. Na onti lang, ayan. Pero nabuksan ko naman, oh. Pagbukas natin ang box, kita hagad yung switches. Ayan. Usually sa mga mechanical keyboards, di ba? Parang magkakasama na silang lahat. I mean, nalagay na yung switches, nalagay na yung keycaps. Pero itong keyboard na to, open na open for modification. Kasi kung gusto mo ilube yung switches mo, tanggal na siya. Hindi ka na mahihirapan na magtanggal. Ng switches, isa-isa dito. Then, nandito na yung keyboard. Ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat, syempre. So, nasa likod yung power button. So, kung balak mo na i-on off siya every time, kailangan mo ibaliktad. Well, onti lang naman yung effort na kailangan mong gawin. And ako, hindi naman ako mahilig mag-off. Kasi nagsislip naman yung keyboard, di ba? So, ito may dalawang levels. Yung pag-angat ng keyboard mo. Ayan. Kung gusto mo mas mataas. And meron din rubber every level. So, hindi talaga madudulas yung keyboard mo. Then, ito may box dito. I want... Oh, nandito yung kanyang wire. It's the usual USB-A to USB-C type. So, I guess pwede mo rin itong gamitin na charger ng phone mo, ng headset, like what I always do. And, andito naman yung kanyang keycaps. I love it. So, ito included na keycaps is already a PBT double shot keycaps. And yung color pink na keycap, same shade siya ng pink ng keyboard. And the last one na nasa box is yung keycap and switch cooler. Which is cool kasi usually, di ba, ang kasama lang ng mga set ng keyboard is keycap cooler. So, ang generous naman ng Rack Gears na binigyan tayo ng 2-in-1 cooler. So, by the way, I'm not opening this keyboard because I'm not that expert sa pagmamodify ng mismong keyboard. And takot ako na baka masira ko siya. Pero based sa review ni Tech B-Roll, may kasama na siyang silicone and foam dampeners na nagre-reduce ng pagkapingi sound ng keyboard. And this is unusual sa mga budget keyboards. Wala pa ako na-own na keyboard na merong mga dampiners. So, nag-modify na yung Rack Gears para sa'yo. 
para mas maganda yung sound profile ng keyboard mo. So yung mga stabilizers ng keyboard na to is already pre-lubed and I will try to make a sound test later. And these switches are called Rock Kalaw, which is a tactile switch. I really prefer tactile switches, but you can pick from 7 types of switches for the bundle. And here is the list. The board is hot swappable, so it can fit 3 or 5 pin switches. So these switches are not yet lubed, unlike the stabilizer. So kung habi mo ang lubing, then go, go, go! <laughs> Pero ako, I want to know how it sounds like muna ng stock switches pa lang. And para marinig nyo rin. <laughs> so now let's try to do a sound test. Meron siyang NK or O. Pwede mong pagsabay-sabayin lahat ng keys and nade-detect pa rin siya in real time. So, good talaga to for gaming and for typing aggressively. <laughs> Alright, so ito yung RGB lighting options niya. And sabi nga dito, meron siyang 16.8 million. Pero hindi ko napapakita lahat ng yun. <laughs> So, meron application yung Rock, which is Software Fine Tuner. Kaso nga lang, nakamak po ako. And hindi compatible pa. As of the moment, yung Software Fine Tuner sa Mac. So, I use this keyboard for about 2 days pa lang. So, hindi ko pa na ma-maximize yung battery niya and all that. So, ito lang yung mga napansin ko. I can really feel na tactile yung keycaps na to. Itong Rock Kalaw. Mas may bump siya compared sa Aqua Lavender switches ko. Which is tactile then. So I've been using this Aqua switches for a long time na. So nung nagpalit ako to Kalaw, medyo nabigatan ako sa spacebar and all that habang nag-edit ako ng video. Pero ganun naman talaga diba usually naninibago ka kapag matagal ka na nag-stay dun sa isa. Hindi yun hugot ha, hindi ako broken heart head. <laughs> so yun, hindi pa ko sure sa battery niya kasi so far hindi pa siya nalulobat. And hindi ko pa siya charge ever. So, napansin ko, although lahat naman ata ng Bluetooth mode na keyboard, ganito, kunyari kakagising mo lang din, kapag in-open mo yung MacBook mo, or siguro kahit Windows, papindot mo yung keyboard, nag-on siya agad, umiilaw siya agad, pero hindi siya na-detect kapag magta-type ako ng password. So, kailangan kong gumanon pa para ma-type ko yung password ko sa laptop. Then, after that, kapag nakapag start up na talaga, gumagana na siya. And again, baka sa lahat ng wireless keyboards to, pero inaabot ng 1 minute bago mamatay yung LED lights ng keyboard. And inaabot ng 30 minutes bago siya mag-sleep. 
which saves the battery. That's good. Pero yun, nawawala yung connection. Then, pipindutin mo lang naman siya ng ilang beses. Two times or one time lang. So, so far, wala naman ako na-encounter na issues or problems. Suggestion ko lang daw, medyo matangkad itong keyboard na to. Ayan. So, baka kailangan mo ng wrist rest para dito. Siyempre, gusto natin na comfy and ergonomic yung ating experience, di ba? So, do I recommend this keyboard? There's no reason to say no. Especially that I have the Tom 680, which is kind of similar to Rack Pira. Ayan. Parehas silang 65% keyboard, parehas silang may volume knob, and parehas silang merong color pink. Pero, this is way more cheaper. I bought this na bare bones lang, meaning wala siyang switches and wala siyang keycaps ng 3,599. Pero, itong ating rack pira na meron ng kasamang switches and keycaps, so, buo na siya. This is only 3,295 and actually, sale siya ngayon. 100 off siya sa EasyPC website. So, I'm so happy to share it with you guys na meron tayong pa-promo code sa EasyPC PC website, meron tayong 100 pesos off when you buy this keyboard in their website in Easy PC website. The promo code is PMARS100. Link is in the description also para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Ayan, click it na! <laughs> and now nga pala, meron tayong pag-giveaway last week sa Instagram. So, the winner is Please DM me on Instagram to claim your prize and congratulations! So that's it! Thank you so much for watching! Please like, subscribe, and click the notification button so you'll be notified on my new videos. I'll see you and happy International Women's Month!